Welcome to Genuine Core guys. In this video, I am going to show you a latest feature which is gonna be available in the Java Development Kit 9 which is not yet released yet. But you can have a look at the latest feature of JDK 9 by downloading the JDK Early Access Release as for now. As for today, the September 11th, all the features have been completed and all test runs are completed for JDK 9. And it will take 192 days before the general availability of the JDK. But one thing is that uh, the, all the features that will be present in the JDK 9 is closed and there will be no new features. All that they are doing is the bug fixing. I mean there is a zero bug bounce on uh, which will be completed by the 10th month October 2016. So uh, we can have a look at the features available in the JDK 9 by downloading it from the JDK 9.java.net by slash download and if you're uh, depending upon the operating system you are using you can download the JDK from here once you download all that you have to do is to extract it in case of Linux or in Windows you just have to install that and then I have decompressed the uh, zip to JDK 9 and inside that folder there are a number of folders just like before uh, just like JDK 8 and 7 or uh, let us ha uh, let us get into the bin folder so we are in CD bin and inside that bin there is a feature called JShell so let me introduce you to the JShell the JShell is similar to the script engine uh, that we seen in Python or Bash it is called REPL read evaluate print and loop let me show you an example for REPL suppose this is my bash and I when I uh, uh, type echo he echo hello world I'm sorry for that hello world actually it is printing hello world because it the prog the interpreter it is an interpreter which will execute the program and displace the output but as you know for Java uh, there was no uh, ripple and we will have to combine or create a class and do the compilation process but with the introduction of jshell you can actually do java coding line by line in this interpreter in order to illustrate that let me show you the system.out.println command so system.out.println and i'm going to pr type the hello world and you can see that just like we have seen in bash or python we are getting the output before introduction of jshell we have to create a class and put the system dot out or print and inside a function uh, that may be main or the constructor then compile it with jshell there is nothing like that and let me uh, show you some of the important aspects of jshell first there is a help in jshell which can be seen by taking the slash help and it contains a lot of text I know it's uh, not that good and let me show you some of the important parameters so uh, by typing the slash imports you can see these uh, packages are already imported for your program so when you type a code if uh, the code belongs to this package then you don't have to import that in case you want to import something more like uh, java dot util dot star then uh, it's already imported util dot or java dot time dot instance instant so now it is imported uh, and now uh, if you run the slash imports you can see that the java dot time dot instant has been initiated and let's see some of the examples of what we can do with the jshell uh, suppose you want to write a function you want to test a function without uh, typing it into a program then you can done that here you can do that here so void uh, i'm going to make a function for print area and i'm going to give a radius value so this is as per our java syntax and uh, instead of using system.out.println you can actually use the printf function which is already defined in this case so that will be printf and a float value and I am going to radius into 
radius into 3.14 so it's pi r square which is the radius of a circle and that's it so it will say that it will print that created method print area so if you want to test that function you can actually uh, uh, pass a value so I'm going to pass 10 print area 10 just like in bash the tab is supported in this case too so print area and then the area is printed like this you don't have to write a function to do simple for evaluating simple expression suppose you want to find the value of 3 by 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 then you just have to type that and it will be automatically evaluated by the gesture there is more to that if you want to see the value of dollar phi which is uh, in this case after evaluating this expression the output is stored in the dollar phi variable so system dot out dot print ln and I'm going to pass the dollar phi and you can see that the value is taken from the dollar phi symbol and by the giving the code slash bar vars you can actually see the variables that are available in the memory in this case there is a dollar phi variable which is the output of this expression and you can always define your own variable suppose int value equal 81 then the value is set to 81 and then, and now if you call the uh, value from the system or out print alone for from anywhere it will be 81 mm, let's take a look into the was so there are two variables and uh, there may be a confusion what happens if I use this value in again in my code and in that case it will be rewritten by the compiler so in value is equal 91 I'm going to redefine that so uh, now if I go for the slash was it has been redefined to 91 and there is just like was there is also functions there is methods and these are the two method that is defined in the scope which is printf by default it is created and there is a print area void which is created by us and let's do some more cool stuff right I am going to write a function I'm going to write a class like a class sleeper class extends thread I'm going to write a thread class and inside that I am going to write public void run uh, I just want to show you what is possible with this and there is of course try catch try thread dot sleep and I want to sleep for five seconds of course it will throw some exception so catch exception e I am not handling it uh, I am not doing the handling case public void run this is end of the run function this is end of the thread so you can see that it created a class called sleeper class now if you want to test the class all that we have to do is to use the normal java code new sleeper class dot so the thread is created and we can actually start the thread like this so it executed so it will be executing in another thread that's why we haven't seen any output but it actually worked so I hope I covered the most basic things I request you guys to try this by yourself because the possibilities available with JShell are infinite because if you want to try your code without uh, going for creating a class or something like that JShell is very much useful for this much time there was this uh, ripple for Python, the first ripple for the ba uh, Bash, but now we got the JShell for our Java 2. So, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it, and subscribe for more cool videos.